Hi, I'm Herb, a product manager on Android. And I'm Aaron, an Android developer relations engineer. Notifications are one of the main ways users interact with apps. Call style for phone calls, big text style for lengthy messages and custom notifications for bespoke use cases. In Android 16, we are adding a new notification style, the progress style template, for better tracking of time-sensitive, user-initiated, ongoing activities. These allow you to implement rich user experiences for progress-centric activities, for example, displaying ride-sharing updates or tracking a food delivery. The progress style template is a highly customizable notification style. Developers have the ability to brand and connect with users along their journey by customizing the progress bar with customizable steps, segments, tracker icons, and more. We also wanted to make sure that users can track these rich and important experiences consistently across the devices in their lives, including mobile, large screens like tablet or foldable. So Android 16 also introduces a new type of experience to notifications called Live Updates as a solution to this. So let's dive in. Live Updates are specific notification styles that get heightened visibility by appearing on the Always On display, receiving a status bar chip, and top ranking in the notification drawer and lock screen. Ranking wise, Live Updates will always be at the top of the notification stack ranking only below heads up notifications or notifications that are reserved for the most important and urgent alerts. Let's talk more about notification styles, what styles classifies as live updates and their benefits. Notification styles and live updates is a standardization on how the Android's platform's notifications are being built, used and displayed in the UI. The use of notification styles versus custom notifications is moving the Android platform in the right direction as they are more helpful to you developers and beneficial to end users. Notification styles are built around the more common and high usage use cases for notifications. This has the benefit of streamlining development as they have well-defined APIs for very specific functionality and the benefit of a system-provided layout for consistent experiences. This is absent in custom notifications. Custom notifications have no specific APIs built around them, providing you with very little guidance. Although highly customizable in visualizations through remote views, it is at the cost of delivering inconsistent experiences for end users for very common operations. Custom notifications also require a lot more overhead in terms of testing. Special care is required to ensure that custom layouts work with different device orientations, resolutions, and versions. The height available for a custom notification layout, for example, varies across OS versions. It is because of these challenges that we are steering developers away from custom notifications and towards notification styles. Notification styles and live updates come with visual consistency, ranking benefits, and prominence that is absent in custom notifications. With notification styles, the OS can easily extend the notification experience beyond mobile, building a better Android ecosystem across devices for users. Live updates will work seamlessly across handset and foldables in 2025, with support for wearables coming later in 2026. So aside from using a specific style, how does the notification become a live update? Well, there are specific criteria they should set on the notification. Live updates are notifications that must meet the following criteria. They must be of a specific notification style using either big text style, call style, progress style, or standard style. And live updates must also be ongoing. Live updates must not have the following. They must not use custom views. They must not be a summary of a group of notifications and not use a notification channel of low importance. But simply complying with the API doesn't mean it'll be a great experience for the end user. As we mentioned earlier, with custom notifications, with any room for customization, big or small, the end user experience is still very dependent on you using best practices. Let's discuss best practices. Aside from meeting the live update criteria, you should still go through the scrutiny of understanding whether your app's notification makes sense as a live update and not perceived as abuse or spam to the user. When evaluating use cases, make sure to consider the following. 
Is this a user-generated ongoing activity in the foreground? Is this one of the acceptable use cases like ride share, delivery, or navigation? Is this time sensitive or happening in the moment? Is there a clear beginning and end time? Does this require user attention for the duration of the activity? Let's respect the user and do not use it for ads, promotions, chat messages, or anything spammy. Live updates can be toggled on and off for each app by the user. Once toggled off, your app's notifications won't have a chip or any other prominent features until the user manually turns the feature back on in settings. Now, let's walk through a code example of the progress style template. For this example, we have a hypothetical rideshare app that will simulate a rideshare experience from connecting with the driver to getting picked up and then being driven to the destination. The progress style notification template is available to apps compiling against the Android 16 SDK. So when setting up your project, and after downloading the SDK level 36, please be sure to compile against it in your build file. Before we dive in, we will start with the fundamentals and build a base notification to build on top of. This base notification will fulfill the core requirements of what notifications classify as a live update. The notification channel assigned to this notification is also importance default. And an importance level of importance min will not qualify a notification as a live update. And then most importantly, the notification style is set to use progress style, a notification style that can be a live update. In our simulated RiseHard app, the progress style notification starts in an indeterminate state to showcase the scenario where the user is initiating their RiseHard journey and is being connected with the driver. The text in the notification reflects this via set context title and set context text, and the chip status for this live update is set to reflect the state as well through the set short critical text API. Given the status chip is allotted the seven character limit, we need to be mindful of what I'll show here. I'll use dot 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 to denote an indeterminate state. Once the driver is assigned, we update notification with a new state. We, one, update all relevant text to reflect that driver has been assigned an on route for passenger pickup. Two, set the progress tracker icon with the vehicle image via the progress style API set progress tracker icon. Three, set the image of the driver via notification API set large icon. And lastly, set the initial progress of the vehicle's journey to the passenger via the progress style API set progress. We also remove the indeterminate state and the text in the status chip as we transition from the indeterminate state. Instead, the status chip is updated to reflect the time of arrival for passenger pickup. To achieve this, we use existing notification APIs. We explicitly set show when to true. Note that this is a requirement, and if it's not set, it does default to true. Set when is set to a time in the future for the estimated vehicle arrival, allowing for a display of a countdown in the status chip to passenger pickup. In this case, arrival is in 10 minutes. Alternatively, we could have used the set short critical text API to customize the chip status update display. Here's an example of how we could have expanded on the minute abbreviation. When we update the notification and notify the user, please remember to use the same notification ID throughout this user journey so as to update the initial notification and not create a new one. At the left is the visual of the notification and status chip updated with the driver assigned. Once the driver arrives, we update the state of the notification once more. This time, we add additional details regarding the driver's vehicle, noting the color of the vehicle, the license plate number, and some useful details about the driver. We've also updated the progress of the progress bar at the time of the status chip to reflect a change in the initial estimate of 10 minutes and the driver's near arrival. For important stages of the journey, it is critical that we are informing our users with timely updates and useful information. The user is now en route to the airport, but decides to make an additional stop on the way. Using the existing in notification actions framework, we can streamline this for the user by adding the action in the notification. You can see how much more convenient it is to add a stop in the notification itself versus going into the app. Once the user adds the pit stop, let's add a progress point via the progress style API to denote visually that additional stop in their journey. Once again, as good citizens, we also update the notification content text and title to reflect the new stop, and the status chip is updated as well, with the new time of arrival, 19 minutes away. Traffic conditions can change, and representing this visually to the user is important. 
Let's say that there's now traffic on the way to the first stop. The progress stop notification should be updated to reflect this in order to convey the level of traffic. Let's update the notification to show this traffic with updated text. Now through the progress style API, let's add a progress bar segment that uses the same color red to reflect the degree of traffic for that part of the journey. We also update the set when to reflect the delay and the additional time added till arrival. Conveying changes and conditions, not just through text, but cook colors, really adds to the visual experience of the journey and catches the end user's attention. Let's stop there with the rideshare experience and now go through an example of how the progress style template can be used to build a mass transit experience. Creating a mass transit experience is possible through the APIs we've gone over with the segments and points, but further enhanced through the usage of the progress style APIs, set progress start icon, and the set progress end icon. In our hypothetical subway ride experience, we will use points to denote the stops, start and end icons for the train lines that the user has to take and transfer to. Now, let's show an example of how one would create a navigation experience. Using what we've learned thus far, we once again use segments and points to create visualizations for this journey using existing notification APIs to convey directions to the end user in text and visuals. In this navigation experience example, Key APIs are the text for guiding the user through their navigation experience and eye-catching visuals for conveying directions using the notification set large icon API. Now that we've discussed most of the progress styles APIs, let's discuss the APIs that will help you understand programmatically your live update characteristics. The notification manager has a new method to check whether the calling apps properly formatted notifications can appear as a live update. To check if the notification itself meets the criteria for being a live update, there is the has promotable characteristics method call on the notification. When this returns true, it does not guarantee the notification as being a live update, giving user preferences via app settings or notification channels, but returning false guarantees that it will not be shown as a live update. We've seen in the samples what's possible with the progress style APIs and demonstrates how a well-defined standardized API makes the development of capturing progress-centric journeys so much more simpler. That about wraps it up. As you can see, live updates as new levels of experiences incorporating existing templates with an addition of a new template. Please check out our developer documentation online for more valuable resources and the sample code for guidance on how to use this API. And be on the lookout for more use cases that will be supported under the Live Updates umbrella at Android 16 launch and beyond. Thank you.